Welcome to Ekrem Format videos. Today we're going to be performing the shoulder examination with a focus on the rotator cuff muscle special tests. Let's start with the subscapularis muscle. The subscapularis muscle can be tested using the lift off test. To perform the lift off test, ask the patient to stand up, put their arm behind their back internal rotation with the palm of the hand resting against the lumbar area of the back. Ask the patient to push against the examiner's resistance. If the patient is unable to do so, this indicates a weakness in the subscapularis muscle. To perform the lift off test, ask the patient to put their hand behind their back at waist level with the palm facing out. Next, ask the patient to push their arm away from the body against resistance. The next muscle we are going to test is the infraspinatus muscle. The infraspinatus muscle can be tested with asking the patient to flex the elbow at 90, 90 degrees and asking the examiner to apply pressure. The patient will then try to externally rotate against the examiner's resistance. Have the patient AD duck the shoulder, flex the elbow at 90 degrees and push externally against resistance. The next muscle is the supraspinatus muscle. The supraspinatus muscle can be tested using the empty can or jokes test. Ask the patient to spread their arms out in front of them and to pronate the arm like so as if they are emptying a can. The examiner will then apply resistance and the patient is supposed to push against the resistance upward. If the patient is unable to do so or their arm drops down, this is an indication of supraspinatus injury. Ask the patient to extend their arms fully out in front of them. Next, ask the patient to pronate their arm with the thumbs facing down as if emptying a can. Apply pressure at the elbows and ask the patient to elevate their arms against resistance. The second test for the supraspinatus muscle is the drop arm test. Ask the patient to A, B, duck the arms straight in the scapular plane and then to slowly A, D, duck the arm towards the body. If the patient's arm drops suddenly, this is an indication of weakness of the supraspinatus muscle. Ask the patient to abduct the arm to 90 degrees, then slowly bring the arm down to neutral position. Positive test would be a sudden drop in the arm, indicating a tear in the supraspinatus muscle. To complete your shoulder examination, check for impingement using the near and Hawking test. To perform the near test, stabilize the patient's scapula while passively elevating the arm. A positive test would be pain while performing this maneuver. To perform the near test, stabilize the patient's scapula from behind while passively elevating the arm above the patient's head. A positive sign would be eliciting pain on this maneuver. To perform the Hawkins test, abduct the patient's arm with the elbow flexed at 90 degrees in the scapular plane. Next, place the patient's arm in internal rotation. A positive test would be pain while performing this maneuver. To perform the Hawkins test, Abduct the patient's shoulder and flex the elbow at 90 degrees. Next, provide internal rotation. A positive test would be pain elicited on this maneuver.